Good morning. It's Possibility Monday. And as always, we have a powerful question for you to consider for the day. This one's going to sound unique because this is our theme for the week about a platform that we get to use with the ha Habit Finder materials, learning your habits, learning how they show up and how they impact others as well as yourself. And one of them is about a concept of needing to be right. And we are going to be discovering that in our free Q&A, talking about it in our weekly email, and most importantly, working with our clients to make sure that they are showing up with the humble and insightful presence that they already have with inside them. And yet, uh, that would be my question to you today. When you contemplate the concept of needing to be right, what would happen if you decide that you don't always have to be right? or that you be open to another opinion or perspective. Just something to consider for today. I'll share with you one of my personal journeys. When I first became an executive coach, I was working for 35 different offices, traveling all over, and a gentleman walked up to me and says, have you read this book? And I flipped through it and said, oh yeah, I teach on that. Oh yeah, I teach on that. It was years later, just a couple years later, I finally read through the whole book. I've been through it at least three times now. Gary Keller would tell you 10 times, so still working my way through that coach and teach through it all the time. And even the habit finder materials, I was a tad bit uh, resistance when I first got exposed to it and had to go through the whole phase of learning how to integrate it, to own it and value it and honor it. Same thing with Gary Keller's book. I'm sure we all have those things. And I would invite you today to contemplate where did that show up for you personally, professionally, and what would happen if you opened yourself up to another perspective instead of always needing to be right? Sure, no one would have that major issue yet. Um, I just encourage you for this Possibility Monday to celebrate the opportunity to listen and to consider. Have an amazing, wonderful week. Bye-bye.